Hello, my name is Asuma and welcome to Minecraft Myth Busting. In this show we take rumours about the game and put them to the test to find out what's actually true and what's not. If you have any myth you want to see busted, just leave a comment on this video and I'll add it to my list. This episode we are back in the area where we tested to find out what types of damage we could block with a sword. And the reason that we've come back here is to do the same testing but with armour. Now we want to find out what types of damage the armour will absorb and that's not to be confused with how much damage the player takes, we're testing for the item itself. So the item has a little durability meter underneath it, which we've all seen before, and that is what we're going to be finding out. We're going to take different types of damage whilst wearing armour to find out which ones actually affect the item's durability. Now we don't want to confuse the different types here. Unlike the defence rating which stops the player from taking more or less damage, um, all items are treated equally here. So the diamond will be treated the same as leather when taking damage it's going to take the same amount of durability points and that's the same for whether it's a chest piece, the leggings or the boots and they're all treated the same when taking damage and that being applied to the durability meter so as always I'm going to do a whole bunch of testing and turn it into a time lapse Well that was some very interesting testing, as always you make assumptions in this game and when you do the testing you find out what's actually going on and there were a few assumptions that I made myself and I found out some interesting things uh, but you may have noticed that I had a sword on me the whole time. The plan was to do the testing whilst also blocking as well just to find out if there's any difference with that and I forgot to do it so I'd done it again and it turned out I wasn't recording uh, when I'd done that part so that's why it wasn't in the time lapse but I've got some findings to show you to do with that but first of all let's just take a look at what types of durability damage we take um, from different types of damage so first of all just standing on fire like we have over there you'll take one durability point every time you take damage from the fire when you actually set on fire and you're walking around and you're still on fire you take none whatsoever and what's interesting with lava is I thought at first that you were taking two points but it turns out that you get set on fire as well when you walk into lava so you get two points at a time one for the lava and one for being set on fire now it is possible just to hit the lava and not be set on fire and in the case that you do that you will actually only take uh, one point of durability damage so full damage, void, drowning and suffocation have no effect on the armour whatsoever. And being attacked by a melee, a zombie or a projectile, like a skeleton you would take one point on each, but a damage potion would do absolutely nothing. And then poison, starvation and being withered do nothing at all to your armour, but walking into a cactus will do damage. Now there was another type of a test that I'd done there, which was the ender pearl, and that actually is full damage which is over here so that does no damage to your armor whatsoever now here's where things get interesting in the explosions category we have tnt creeper and gasp ball and in my previous test for a gasp ball i did a fire charge in a dispenser which actually turns out to be the same as a blaze so this time 
I corrected myself and I went into the nether and you take one point of durability damage to your armor each time you get hit by a gas ball. So the interesting thing here is with TNT and Creeper both being actual explosions that can destroy blocks you can take more damage uh, than just one point like every other type of damage um, that there is. So with a TNT at point blank range if you're standing right in the middle of it when it explodes you can take 7 points of damage and with a Creeper you can take 5 which is very interesting but the further away you are from it you'll take less and less damage. Now I said that I'd done some testing with the blocking as well and for every type of damage it was the same, you'd always take the one point of damage, but in this case with the TNT and the Creeper you can actually over half the amount of damage being taken. So when you stand in the TNT at point blank range and you take 7 points of durability damage, if you're holding block you will actually uh, take only 3 points of damage and with the Creeper I think it's 2. So there's a top tip right there, if you're ever near some explosives remember to block and you'll actually save your armour some durability. So earlier in this video I said it didn't matter what type of armor you were wearing or what material it was made out of, you'd take the same amount of durability damage and I can confirm that to be both true in the game code and in my testing as well. So if you want to know what each different item has in terms of durability, the numbers are on the screen right now if you want to pause your video and take a look at that. So if you want to watch more myth busting, there'll be a link on your screen in a moment to the playlist and if you have any myths that you want to suggest, you can leave a comment in the comment box below. So thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.